Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 25. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the German-only race with the BMW M5. Uh, so what I've been doing off camera is I've been grinding out a lot of... Um, I think it was the first race of the last episode. Um, it was very short and got us a lot of money. So, I'm now at 1.47 mil. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we are going to upgrade everything. So, we've upgraded this. Uh, we're going to upgrade that. Uh, because we are doing the higher up German only. Uh, so, we're obviously in the M5 again. Um, and I am wanting to see exactly how much power we can actually squeeze out of this car. Um, did we put... Yes, we put titanium racing. Did we put the... Yes. Sports exhaust manifold as well. What turbo kit have we got in here? Cannot be fitted. Cannot be fitted. Oh, great. None of that can be fitted. Right. Uh, transmission. I feel like we should probably put a fully customizable kit in. Um, to tune it for later. So, let's chuck one of you in. And drivetrain, I feel like we did this. Yes. Oh, we haven't put a carbon uh, prop shaft in yet. Here we go. Uh, suspension as well. I feel like a fully customizable kit would be decent. Because uh, I want to drop it down ever so slightly and put some uh, camber on the wheels. Uh, so this car has racing hard, so that is very good. Um, I think as well we've got a couple of races left to do on special as well. Um, but we are going to go straight into the German, uh, the German races with the Beamer. Uh, it is this one, League B. So we are starting off at Cape Ring and then moving over to the Nürburgring. Let's do this. Right, so we are here for 21.97 miles of Cape Ring. We have five laps to go. Um, this is going to be a very long race. Um, I want... Do I want traction control off for this race? Yeah, let's go for it. No traction control. And this race is going to give us 60,000 credits. So it's going to make back all the money that we spent on this car. Here we go. Those BBS rims, though. I'm trying not to be, like, a toxic driver as well. So I'm... Because I'm wanting to get uh, games like GT Sport and stuff like that at some point. And I know that is, like, a very serious racing game. So I'm trying not to crash into other cars. I want to appear like a sensible... Look at that though, round the outside of the Audi. This car would never be able to, wow, it could in real life, but stock would not be able to fight against an Audi R8, not at all. Awesome. These laps are going to be long, though. And there's five of them. The fact is, the Nürburgring's only, like, 16 miles. And we are doing... How many miles on this one? 24, nearly. So that is pretty crazy. But I do like how Cape Ring has, like, four different tracks. It's unreal. Cape Ring is one of my favourites. It's not my favourite, because that obviously is Laguna Seca. There's the traction control, though. You can hear and feel the car sliding. It's so much fun. 
Over the jump we go. Awesome. Controlling the throttle very nicely through this section. For the Nürburgring, I have a feeling I want to maybe extend the final drive gear and shorten down every other gear. Or maybe leave the rest of the gears how they are, but make sure the final drive is a little bit longer for the uh, sixth gear. I think it's, oh no, it's seven gears. Never mind, I thought it was uh, a six gear engine. Nearly three minutes for that lap though. Look at that, sliding everywhere. The tyres are struggling with the amount of power that this car has. Um, and we are only three and a half minutes into the race. Uh, that is not a good sign. Ooh, that is not a good sign either. Slow down. I was driving this car on the uh, Madrid circuit, was it Madrid? I think it was. The first race of the uh, Polyphony Digital Cup. Um, that first race, uh, I was sliding the car around the hairpin corner uh, as the final corner. And it was awesome. Just being able to slide a car. Because I turned traction control on. I honestly couldn't care if my my tyres are like, yeah, nah, I've had enough. The tyres can be like that, but I'm going to be sliding around every single time. Here we go. That is the fastest we've gotten on that straight section there. You know it's bad when the front tires are struggling as well. That is awesome. Oh, we've gone wide, we've gone wide. Not great. Oh, wide again. Perfect. Speed is key. 
I find capering is just such a long race. It's ridiculous. That's the first time we've hit that wall for a while. Nice. That was a perfect line through there. Right, off of the main straight, we are looking at 2 minutes 45.4. I don't think I'll be able to drive without stability control just because I am a bad driver. So if racing hards are struggling with this, like that's the most durable compound. If that's struggling with the amount of power that this car has, I don't think any of the tires in this game will be able to handle them. I think you would literally have to like go and have a lot less power being pushed into those tyres because there is no way you can counter the smoking coming from those things. Around the outside here. Oh! Not great. I didn't realise how... Uh, bunch with the left of that corner there. Here we go, coming up to the fi final corner. We've still got one more lap. I don't know why I'm saying that. Also, I think I've been saying it wrong. Apparently it's like polyphony. Um, is how you say the studio's name, which is a little bit weird. Polyphony. And I've said polyphony, but polyphony, I don't know. If anyone knows the actual definition of um, how you pronounce the studio, please let me know down below. I don't have a clue. We're going way faster than that Audi though. 
I'm looking forward to go playing um, Grand Children 6 because I've seen uh, yet more gameplay. I've actually uh, gotten the copy of the game um, and I've done a little bit of off-screen playtesting and so far by the looks of it, it feels like a more complete game. Whereas this one you sort of have to grind out. That one feels like you can just go through complete everything and not have to worry about grinding out crazy amounts of money. Um, which I like about games. I like I like grinding, don't get me wrong. But grinding shouldn't be for money. It should be for like... I mean, yeah, it should be for money for like your rare cards. But like to progress the story you shouldn't have to grind. Grinding should only be for like 100% completion and stuff like that. But obviously to progress in this game, you have to grind out a lot. Here we go, nice. It is exciting though coming to like the final legs of this series. I, I don't think I'm going to be doing the endurance series um, because that is huge amounts of racing. Here we go, final corner. But I'm aiming to complete all of the extreme series, so here we go. Across the line, finish, first place. And we got ourselves a decent paycheck of 59,000. Yes. Back above a million. And we got loads of XP there as well. Right, on to the next race now. Right, so we are here at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. We have 12.95 miles to do. Let's do this. Uh, so I've extended the uh, final drive of the gearbox slightly. Um... Uh, go weaving through the cars through here and speed is key we've obviously got ourselves 59,000 if we complete this lap which I think this is actually gonna be my new grinding race this one because this has more money for like distance and time And it's a lot less boring doing one lap of the Nürburgring than three laps of Madrid. It's literally three corners on Madrid. At least this one is just a bit more interesting. Oh! Crashed out there. We definitely need to slow down over that hill. There's no other way about it. Always slow down before there. Coming down into second for this corner here. Nice. Tires are warming up very nicely there. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Right, we got this tight corner here. Towards the right, in towards the tree section. Most of the sections of the Nürburgring are full of trees anyway. Oh, 
awesome. Right, so down for this section through here. Perfect. And brakes. I really want to see what our top speed is for this though, because we haven't gone on a track with like as long as straight as this in, in a while. And obviously we're hitting like 140 miles an hour on these sections. We easily hit 170 on the straight section before before the hairpin corner in like the first section. We hit 169 then, haha <laughs> funny. Here we go, oh slow down here. Right we're coming up to the carousel now. Rear tyres are starting to heat up, but they didn't heat up as quick as Cape Rig, which is very good. Here we go, round the carousel. Nicely done. Perfect. Speed is key on the Nürburgring and the rear tires are starting to heat up. In fact, they are very hot now. The Pagani Zonda couldn't even go this quick around the Nürburgring. We have made a Pagani Zonda out of a BMW. The Pagani's on the arm, even. Right, we're coming up to the mini carousel, which is the second to last corner before the main straight. And coming up to the long, wide corner here. We've got a sharp braking zone for the first part. And then it's all wide. Right, let's see the top speed of this thing. Come on, Beamer. 180, 185, 190. Can we get to 200? You've just stopped growing now. 105, 96, 97, 198, 199. Oh, 199, what? That is crazy, 199. We were so close to 200 miles an hour with this. I feel like I'm gonna count it as 200 miles an hour. It hit 200. And there we go, seven minutes and 23 seconds around the Nürburgring. That's a very good time.
That is a very good time for the Nervo Ring. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also, we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.